Some girl ate Monica. <laughs> Shut up. The camera adds 10 pounds. Uh, so how many cameras are actually on you? <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to the Link Podcast with me, Elle. If you would like to learn English from interesting content like TV shows, movies, songs, books and more, this is the channel for you. Today I'm going to be joined by a guest and we're going to chat about the absolute phenomenon that is the TV show Friends. It's used by so many people to study English. Before we get into it though, let me show you how you can make English lessons with friends. So first you're going to want to find your friend's script. So the site is called foreverdreaming.org and they have uh, subtitles of the script for every single Friends episode. So let's take a look here. Let's choose the one with Phoebe's wedding. Open it up and as you can see, we have all of the subtitles. So you copy and then go into link, click the import lesson button in the top right there, and you will open up the import lesson page where you can add the text that you just copied from the subtitles website. So your script, you can also add an image and the title and there's your lesson. So you can work through the words and phrases as you watch the episode. So listening and reading at the same time. This is what my friend's lesson looks like on mobile. And if you look here down the bottom left, there's a little headphones icon. If you click on that, the audio will be generated for you to listen along to if you would like to just listen and read as opposed to watching the show and read. And then you can review the words and phrases in your lesson at any point. Today I am joined by Cara Leopold of Leo Listening a website and she also runs a YouTube channel. Cara, thank you so much for joining me. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for asking. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. And whereabouts in the world are you joining us from today? So I live in France in a town called Besançon, which is um, in the east of France, kind of between Dijon and Lausanne. So if people can situate that near near Switzerland, but still in France. Nice. Is that Dijon of Dijon mustard? <laughs> it, it is. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, so they're to the they're to the west, and then if you keep heading east, you end up in Switzerland. So. Very nice. And are you experiencing any wintry weather this uh, this December, or is it uh, pretty calm there? Well, it's been really, really cold. The first two weeks of December were really cold. Then it went very warm, and now it's it's just kind of raining. Oh. So it's going to be kind of a, a wet Christmas, maybe. Oh dear. So, maybe you can. Yeah, nothing like yours. Oh yeah. This is if you can see in the image behind me the trees covered in snow yeah we're having a bit of a snowy time here it's a they're calling it a, it's the arctic outflow too so it's my watch tells me it's minus 11 right now which is is cold Oof. yeah yeah it's a bit chilly it's a bit yeah. chilly yeah <laughs> um so cara i would love to chat with you today about the one of the biggest tv shows in the world and a show that many English learners use to study English um, because of course your uh, website and YouTube channel Leo Listening they're all about studying from content of interest studying from TV shows and movies um, we're going to talk about Friends the show Friends mm. the phenomenon that is Friends so yeah first off why don't we in case anyone who is watching listening has never seen or heard of Friends and help me out here as I share the premise of the show. So Friends is an American sitcom about six friends who live in New York. Uh, Phoebe, Monica, Rachel, three women, and then Joey, Chandler and Ross, the three men. And the show just explores their lives, mm. you know, getting jobs, losing jobs, dating, the ups and downs of life of a 20-something-year-old living in New York. 
that sound about right if I missed anything that's pretty, out. <laughs> that's pretty much it yeah. yeah yeah I would you know I would say that's 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 the main that's the, the main the, those are the main points yes even just, even if you're not really familiar with it or you weren't a big fan at the very least you know that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and the show was I guess started broadcast started broadcasting rather in the 90s um I, I think it was 94. Oh, was it? Oh, there we go. 94. Yeah. So how old was I even? Uh, eight? Wait. Yes, I was eight. So I did not stop start watching it when it was on TV. Um, no, I was going to say, I don't think I was a target audience either. Yeah. I was like nine. And oh, there we, we go. Were just, we were just saying off camera that we, um, that we didn't have the right TV channels at the time. No. Because it was not broadcast on network tv Mm -hmm. you know back in the days when we just had four maybe five channels you had to have satellite tv and in the 90s that was actually quite um quite expensive quite i don't know not like not everybody had it it was fairly unusual to have yeah it was Um, fancy and so yeah it was a a fancy a fancy thing to have for sure so yeah i don't think in the uk i don't think people really started seeing it until maybe the end of the 90s, start of the 2000s, because at that point, Channel 4, I think, started broadcasting it in the UK. They had the rights to show um, the the old episodes. So, mm-hmm. yeah, if you're watching it in 94, well, you had a... You were maybe American or you had a satellite dish. Yes, <laughs> right. It was a dish. Oh, my goodness, I remember those. I saw mm. one of those recently here. I was walking somewhere and someone had a huge satellite dish. I don't know why you would have that these days and maybe looks like maybe they're trying to communicate with aliens or something maybe oh, of course okay <laughs> i need to go back to that house <laughs> it looked like one of those What's houses going on? there was like an rv outside it looked like maybe there's some conspiracy theorists live there i don't know <laughs> but uh yes yeah 100 percent. i i started watching must have been like 97 say when when Mm. or like early 2000s I remember on Friday night we would watch Friends it was on I guess it must have been Channel 4 um yeah and I remember even then just everyone talking about it it being such a huge show show even in the UK Mm. um so yeah (laughs) I don't know I think 10 seasons was where they capped it well, yeah, I get the impression it went, if it, if I'm right in saying it started in, in 94, I, I get the impression it finished in 2004, so mm-hmm. 10 years, 10 seasons, that kind of makes sense. Mm-hmm. For fr- Friends trivia fans, you may be more precise in the dates and number of seasons, but um, yeah, that sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the good and the bad, what we like, what we don't like, because um, it's, <laughs> you know some aspects of the show haven't aged well you know this word problematic friends is problematic i think friends is more of its time and of course now you'd hope we've grown and wouldn't speak in the ways that they were or make fun of the things that they were making fun of in the show uh back then yeah, well there's some terrible fat phobia in the yes. show and and actually, well, I've noticed this, like, with, you know, so I have a movie club and with my students we watch. We've watched a lot of movies from kind of the 80s, 90s and 2000s. And sometimes the worst ones in terms of, yeah, problematic content are the ones from the 2000s. Mm-hmm. So Friends would fit into that. Yep. And even the cast of Friends uh, were renowned for, you know, the women especially were very thin throughout the show. Thin. Oh, my so God. So thin. Thin. They must have just been desperate to eat something yes. for those ten years. I feel so. I feel sorry for them because I think there's horrible pressure. Yeah, there didn't seem to be quite the same pressure on the men, but I, but I think you know probably on the whole cast, but mm-hmm. still. And uh, yeah, and there's some terrible fat phobia in the show because there's this running joke about the fact that Monica used to be fat. Mm-hmm. Now she's very very thin, and there's a whole yeah, it's there's a whole ongoing jo- constant. joke about that. And I, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, so it's bad enough. Yeah, so if you want to feel bad about yourself, yes. you watch these very thin, these very thin women that make and 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 you know, so Courtney Cox wore a fat suit, and again, okay. that's very much something of of that time, the late nineties, early two thousands. There were a lot of, unfortunately, you know, movies with people wearing fat suits and jokes about people being 
um, overweight. And mm-hmm. yeah, I think it would be tricky to 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 do that now. It, it just wouldn't. It just wouldn't work. It wouldn't you know, fly. Kind of, thank goodness. No. Yeah. No. Thank goodness. So yeah, I mean that's just not really. Yeah. Um, it's it's not really what people are looking for these days. I don't think think things things are moving. If things are changing, probably too slowly. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So there's the yeah there's the there's the uh, the fat phobia <laughs> the fat phobia thread. Yes, through, running through the episodes of Friends. That's I made I made a note of that one. Yeah, as the standout problematic, shall we say, running theme. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like you're totally right because. Um, in that, in the 2000s, early 2000s, was maybe the worst time to be like a teenager coming of age. Yeah. Because the media mm. was obsessed with thinness and it was like okay to put a woman, it was always a woman, put a young, you know, movie star or singer on the front of a magazine. She's got like a tiny little... <laughs> tiny little bulge or maybe shock her she has some cellulite or stretch marks and they zoomed in like she's at the beach and it's like oh she got fat or she's obese or like wow look how she's let herself go (laughs) meanwhile this woman is like in like an amazing shape is like you know a size I don't know zero or whatever just just beyond I don't know what the sizing is different size 10 size eight size six in the uk like just mm. tiny people yeah it was it was brutal yeah, it was a it was awful a, a, diffi- a, a difficult a difficult time yeah the other movie from that period that shocked me when i watched it again was love actually which i used to really like but now movie. i'm sort of having second thoughts about it and yeah there was there was there's a lot of fat phobia in that and again about a character who's not who just looks normal i don't i don't i really don't understand the the, the joke she looks great is it and... martin mccutcheon's yeah that, yeah yeah and i don't I, honestly it's not even funny like yeah. it doesn't even make sense and um yeah it just no don't 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 do it so mm-hmm. yeah no those the films and tv series from that, that period can be quite um yeah quite bad for, for for that kind of thing so yeah. yeah anyway definitely starting with the bad yeah <laughs> there's lots of bad there's also the running uh like lesbian jokes about ross's ex-wife um who's a lesbian that that is like uh, i think i i may have been reading something and there was a clip of of the joke and i was just like oof really like that was oh i'd forgotten that was, about that okay. oh yeah that was constant ah. as well you know because she's shock horror right. she's gay she's like a les- yeah because yeah, we should probably add that like the whole of the main cast are white yeah thin straight um straight and uh, oh, rich so i do rem- yes. remember an episode where there was a bit of like class consciousness in friends because basically half the group were rich or had sort of well-paid professional jobs and the other half had more kind of like precarious um mm. lower paid employment so like joey was an actor phoebe was doing massage therapy or something at one point and Rachel was working in the coffee money. shop. Yeah, Rachel was in the coffee shop yeah. until she mysteriously got a job working at what was it, Ralph Lauren or yeah. Calvin Klein or one? Yeah, with no experience, just, coming straight from. Yeah, just walked straight in because her hair yeah. was so was so beautiful that like she just got a job. And then the yeah. other three, so like Monica's a chef, but like a, a chef in a fancy restaurant. Mm-hmm. Ross was what a paleontologist yeah, so he's right. an ac- academic that's just the most random job like um and uh, so he's you know an academic in a university and chandler was i don't know what Chandler. that's did. the big the joke right the running joke is like do we oh, what right, does okay. chandler do he works with numbers like something a in an office job. yeah yeah and yeah i remember one episode where they they're like they've gone to a restaurant together and um the, the tension comes up because you know half of the group can't really afford any of the items on the menu mm-hmm. and so i don't know phoebe or joey just orders like a, a salad le- a side salad yeah. <laughs> you know like as the, as the main course so tiny little bit of class consciousness but other than that that yeah very straight very white very thin kind of rich and even if they're poor, they're all living in these apartments in what is it meant to be? Which area of New York is it meant to be? The Greenwich Village, which I don't is, know actually. Yeah, but some, somewhere right. like 
somewhere where I don't think you could afford to live there mm -hmm. if you're working in a cafe or you know like no, yes. no offense there's nothing wrong with that but I think it isn't it's supposed to be an expensive part of New York so it's all mm -hmm. a bit mysterious how they're all maybe not for the better off ones but for the others it's kind of like well, how, how do they how do they live here mm -hmm. um, how does I remember that work? reading or maybe they they mentioned this in the show or this was something mentioned outside of the show but I think so Monica has the amazing giant apartment that would just be the rent would just be astronomical but she's supposed mm. to have it's supposed to be a, a rent controlled which is I right. like a New York thing I think I don't think that is okay. a thing here in Vancouver like they just increase the rent and they want more money whenever they that. want yeah yeah, and, yeah. But there seems to be this this thing in maybe the states or in new york this rent controlled building rent controlled apartments so okay. i think the idea is that monica inherited the the apartment from her grandmother and it's rent right. controlled so it's you know they that's okay. why they can afford it i think that was addressed at some point because oh, yeah right, okay it's, it's like <laughs> that was a, yeah come on otherwise it is a, it is a bit surprising like yeah. it is a nice apartment it is. i mean if they lived in a really grotty apartment you'd be like okay you wouldn't want to watch <laughs> then. <makes> more... Yeah, you <laughs> wouldn't want to watch. No, but I mean, it is. <laughs>